whenever one starts a program, it is quite very important that uh, that program must have the monitoring and evaluation framework. This is also applies to the directors for city financing. This is a huge program which is implemented across the country. Uh, before the implementation of the program, we had together a meeting with the stakeholders to come up with a framework that will be used for monitoring and evaluation of the PHF program. And that framework is composed of two types of indicators, both the quantitative and the qualitative indicators. And these indicators were decided by the, uh, the stakeholders, both the development partners and the implementing partners. And in this uh, framework, there is a log frame which tells about the goal of the program, goes into um, the purpose of the program, the activities, the outputs, outcome, as well as the, uh, the impact. But the rock room is not used on its own, it's used together with the theory of change, which uh, simply is the pathways from the inputs up to the outcome. And also we are using the fidelity of implementation, which is just a degree to which uh, the implementers are implementing the program as per design. So if you combine all these, this is what makes the Tanzanian direct health facility financing monitoring and evaluation model. But nowadays, there's another terminology which has been added to monitoring and evaluation, which is learning. So we also added a section for learning of direct health facility financing, so that even some other countries, they can come and take this model, which is used in Tanzania, and try to replicate in their own country. So as far as the monitoring and evaluation framework is concerned, this is how the directors for seed financing monitoring framework looks like, and it will be followed through for so many years to come, but every year there will be an evaluation of that program, and there will be a learning uh, to learn the lesson learned by this program.